Hey, hey, welcome back to Coastline Fishing. First thing on this video I'm going to say is please can you hit the subscribe button, which is there or maybe there or possibly here, depends where it fits in the frame. The reason I say that is I'm working on a little fun giveaway video at the moment and that will be coming up after this one. And one of the conditions will be that you're subscribed to the channel. So yeah, hit subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, then when that video gets released, you'll be notified. So on to this one, as you can see behind me here, we've got a bit of the fishing tackle on the wall. Um, this is going to be kind of like a beginner's guide to cod fishing or winter fishing, really. I'm just going to go through the equipment I use during the winter season up here um, to target cod. Um, having said that, this equipment won't be just for the winter fishing. It will translate over into the summer. Um, it's just slightly heavier ground um, because that's what I'm fishing up here in the winter. Um, it will be perfectly good for the summer, it's just that it won't be quite as fine. So when you're after the slightly smaller, uh, more timid species in the summer, it might be a little bit harder to pick up bite detection and things. But if you are fishing kind of on a budget, I probably would tend to go to the winter sort of side of things, just because it will be perfectly good for summer, as opposed to if you go for the lighter tackle, which you use in the summer, it probably won't really hold up to the rougher ground and rougher weather you'll experience during the winter. So. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the tackle which we've got. I've sort of trimmed it down to what I feel is the essentials so that you can just get out there on the shore and on the rocks fishing. So we'll start here with the two big bits of equipment. So we've got the Shakespeare Salt tripod. And this is a great tripod. Um, it's by far, well, personally, by far the best one which I've ever used. Uh, it's really stable, loads of adjustment, uh, packs down nice and small into a bag. This top bar here, you can remove just by undoing that screw. And then this bottom part, which holds the bottom of the rod, you can unscrew there. And you put those into the bag and it's nice and streamlined. Um, turning it over, it's got a clip here on the back for either a weight. If it's a pretty windy day, you can just, you know, hook your tackle box onto there or a bag of water or something, or a bottle of water, sorry. Um, or I tend to use that to just put my spare rigs on. And then you've got the clips in the bottom here where the legs stay held in. The clips here to adjust the legs. And yeah, as I say, just a really good bit of kit, nice and stable, nice and simple, and loads of adjustments. So the Shakespeare Salt tripod. Then onto the rod, we've got the Sonic SKS Black. So the FS is for fixed spool. It's a 14 foot and can cast five to seven ounce. Uh, really great rod, uh, quite stiff. It's probably quite hard to show on the video, but um, if I just try and bend that top bit, you know, you can see when it bends, it doesn't sort of wobble around once it returns to the normal bit sort of just goes stiff again and then on the top there we've got the tip light attachment so i leave this on all the time um, it's really handy to have a tip light because generally you're fishing in the night for the cod and you want to be able to pick up those bites this rod's been through the wars a little bit i've had these top uh, one two three eyes replaced and then this I've also replaced myself, which is why this lashing here is a bit discolored, but it's a great rod. Uh, it's not too expensive. I think if they're still around, I'm not sure when or if these are discontinued, but um, I'm sure I've seen them recently for about 70 or 80 quid on some stores. So it's if you can pick it up, I wouldn't hesitate to get this as another rod. Um, yeah, there's definitely more expensive rods out there, but this one's doing me absolutely fine. I've had this two seasons now and caught plenty of fish and pulled it out of plenty of snags and it hasn't let me down. So yes, the Shakespeare Salt Tripod and the Sonic SKS Black Rod. Now moving on to the tackle box where you keep most of the rest of your kit. Um, I opt for a tackle box, but you could use a rucksack if you wanted to. I just find that a tackle box is nice and sturdy and the great thing is it gives you a bit of a seat as well if you're out on the beach or the rocks. Um, I've put these clips on here. Um, the reason I've put those on is that inside I've got a couple of little rams. Uh, that just helps to obviously open the lid but the most important thing is it helps to stop the wind blowing the lid back down and trapping your fingers. So we've got our rigs. Uh, again, we're fishing rough ground so we go through quite a lot of rigs. So these are just all pulley panel rigs made up on here. Um, and I can just, you know, pop one of those on as soon as we snap another one. Uh, we've got a chopping board to chop up your bait and stop you blunting your knife. Uh, I also keep in here just a basic sort of selection of bits of terminal tackle. So in there I've got um, some of my trident tackle stuff here. And then I've got some spare um, hooks in this section. And then I've got things like beads and various different rig clips in here. Um, spare hooks, both panel and main hooks. 
and then a few other random bits like some latex gloves and some beads and then this section here is where i keep all my old equipment while i'm out fishing if i snap a rig or something i just put the old stuff in there so that's my basic terminal tackle box uh, we've then got our reels so i always keep a backup reel so this is just a very very basic backup reel it's not very strong but if my main one, main one breaks it will do the job the main reel which is a pen rival um, this is a really great reel i'll probably do another review video on this soon uh, it's a really strong decent reel and i haven't had any troubles with that so that's the pen rival i then keep a selection well a fillet knife and then in this box here we keep a few various bits and pieces so i've got a box of weights Ooh, overbalance box of weights i've got some scissors uh, for either cutting line or fillets uh, forceps for unhooking fish um, a t-bar which i think is a really great piece of kit really helpful t-bars um, we then got just a basic pocket knife for chopping up your fillets this is a bait mate tool this is a really brilliant piece of kit um, it's really helpful for making up cod baits or big baits you can just pop the baits on here wrap your elastic all the way around and then just slide the bait straight off a great very simple but really handy piece of kit this is another piece of kit I really like. This is the Innova Bait Binder. Uh, so you keep your bait elastic in here. This is brilliant because it stops the elastic inside getting gummed up with all the fish oil and fish paste which you're using. Um, it also floats, so if you drop it in a rock pool or something, it, you don't lose your uh, elastic. And also the elastic goes off inside this rubber ring. Hopefully you can see that there. And it just means that once you snap the elastic off, you always get left with this nice tag end. So you're not fiddling around trying to find the end of your bait elastic all the time. So that's great. Keep some spare rig, rig line. Um, this is Varivas rig nylon, 70 pound, um, just in case we run out of rigs up there. Knife sharpener probably doesn't really need to be in there, but it's always helpful if you blunt your knife on a rock or something, and then just a random spare torch so that's that little box of tackle and then i've got my main head torch here um, so that will be the main one which i use all of the time because we tend to do a lot of the cod fishing at night up here well cod fishing in general seems to be at night and then quite importantly safety wise but also to extend your session a backup head torch if your main one runs out and you're in the middle of the rocks you really don't want to be without a light um, Microfiber towel just for wiping hands and various other bits and pieces and a box of latex gloves because wrapping up cod bait stinks and it's nice to come back with some sort of clean hands and then also a pack of hand warmers because as I say we're fishing cold weather a lot of the time. Um, I also keep in here which I haven't got just you know hats, gloves, beanies and just a bit of other winter equipment. And then, not sure if you saw it earlier, but on the front of the box here, we've just got our Mighty Bite, Mighty Bright, sorry, um, ruler, which is really handy. It's got all of the guides for the species, which you're very likely to catch. And it's really good because you can just pop the fish on there straight away, know if it's above the legal size. You don't have to remember all of the different legal sizes. And if it's in, it goes home. If it's not, back in. <laughs> so there we go. That is my basic cod winter rough ground fishing well there we go that was my review of what i use up here for the winter cod fishing i hope you found it useful i appreciate that i might have run through that quite quickly so if there's any bits of the tackle which you saw there which you'd like to have a bit more information on then pop a comment down there and let me know and i'll try and do another video of a bit more of a detailed review of that particular bit of equipment also, if you've got any other questions around sort of fishing for cod or winter fishing, again, pop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, as always, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you can give us a like and subscribe, that would be great because it helps to grow the channel. And also, as mentioned, we'll be having that fun little giveaway in a few weeks time. So keep an eye out for that. So that's all from me now. So bye from Coastline Fishing and we'll see you again on another video.